to this weekend reading vlog because it's Thursday today and I'm just starting the vlog now because I had absolutely no motivation to do anything. You know when you just like get into a rut? You don't want to do anything at all. That was me for the past four days. So we're back. We're here. We're ready. Um, reading wise, I started Put In by Julie Murphy. I am like 70-ish pages in and uh, it's not good. <laughs> I feel like my reading month this month has been either five stars or like two stars. Like there's no in between. I just feel like I'm on a very high or a very low. I don't know if that's like dependent on my mood or what, but I did give the last two books I read a five stars. Like I gave Red, White, and Royal Blue and Baby Teeth five stars. But then the last book that I read was my not so Bollywood life and I gave that a two stars I did not like that and then this one as of right now is probably gonna be like a two as well so we're not doing so well this is like the companion novel to Dumplin which I think I gave Dumplin like 3.5 when I read it which was like a couple years ago when the movie was coming out I, I just filmed a video for Wednesday because I like I said have been in a rut and just haven't like filmed anything because I just don't care about anything which is terrible to say but honestly I just like am in a mood right now and you know sometimes you get like that and you just gotta pull yourself out of it so we're trying I should do some homework because I have class tomorrow but I finished all the homework for that so I mean that's something if you don't want spoilers for put in then don't listen to this but um, I'm 160 pages in now, and I just want to say that Callie is, like, literally the worst human being ever. She's, like, so dramatic, and she makes me really angry. Like, she's just a huge bitch. Basically, all she's been doing is making fun of Millie because she's fat, and then her boyfriend broke up with her because she has to work at this gym because she, like, trashed it, basically. And, like she's just complaining about how it's not fair and it's like bitch you literally trashed the place like you should be in jail but the person who owns it was nice enough to not press charges on you so i'm gonna have you simmer down and shut up but anyways back to the boyfriend so the boyfriend broke up with her because like her status is bad now because she's not on the dance team because she got kicked off and so like they broke up because like they're living two different worlds but she like literally poured dr pepper all over him and then smashed his phone and then was like confused why people were upset like what i'm sorry what this book is just dumb I, it's dumb it's friday and i just finished put in by julie murphy and i'm giving it a two out of five stars i really did not like it the one main character callie this one is a total bitch i just could not get on board with her and she's supposed to like have all this like character development in the end and blah 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 and she realizes that she was wrong but she's still a bitch so i don't like her and then like millie who's that one she was cool but like still not a really big fan she was very like naive about the world and it was like mm -hmm, honey you're gonna have to like grow up if you're going out in the real world but two out of five stars not a fan so yeah and then i started a Line in the Dark by Melinda Lowe and it's basically about this girl who's in love with her best friend her best friend falls for some other girl and then like bad things start happening and the one best friend has to like try to convince the other best friend that she's bad news you know I'm just hoping somebody dies I have class at 12 today it's 9 30 right now I should do homework but I'm not gonna do that till after class because I just, I don't want to. I just, I am not in the mood for school right now. Like I just have no desire to do anything that I'm supposed to be doing. Um, yesterday I went to drinks with Rob, who's my friend. He's cool, it was a good time, it was a good distraction. Didn't have to do homework. So tonight I have nothing to do, so we'll have to do homework. But I really don't want to. But yeah, that's the plan for today. School, homework, read, typical J day, you know? This is apparently the angle that I am doing updates at now because I'm too lazy to sit up. But 
I'm on page like 115, 16 of this one, a line in the dark. And I don't know, it's basically like I said, like the one best friend is in love with the other best friend who gets another girlfriend and then like shit starts coming out. But it's literally just the one best friend like stalking the other friend. Like that's all that's happened in a hundred pages. So I don't know. It's kind of boring. Like literally all she's doing is following her friend around and like pining over her and like her friend is not interested because she has a girlfriend now. So like bitch get over it. But they just found a gun, so Shum we're gonna die. Which I'm excited about, not gonna lie. So it is Saturday now and um my dumbass just had work and dropped a table on my foot. So um I split my toe open and it really hurts and I can barely walk and um there's blood everywhere. So love that for me. I have to go drive home now and basically show my mom and be like, Mom help because I can't deal with blood by myself. So it happened and I was like, Oh, like I'm fine and it really hurt, but like we're good. And I like look down at my shoe and there's just this like wet spot on it and I was like maybe we're not okay. I took my shoe off and there was just blood. Just blood everywhere so I like get a little woozy because I don't do well with blood and so I do all my first aid stuff because I'm like in the room by myself so I'm like cool love that so I fix myself up put some band-aids on I bleed through the band-aids I'm like <laughs> great so I like called on call because I was like I don't have full-time staff in the building to like fill out the accident report for me So I had to call them and I know who it is. So she's like telling me I'm dumb basically She's like, of course you got hurt like you always get hurt. I'm like Yep, that's me. And so My foot has a heartbeat right now. Like I can feel it just like throbbing I don't think I need stitches like basically like drop the table on my toe like my big toe and it like split the top part off of it like if you have your thumb like this top part like is off but like still connected so like we're good we're fine sorry if you get queasy like me um i'm in pain so i'm gonna go drive home luckily it's my left foot so i can still drive with my right foot which is good because if not i would have been screwed how's your morning going <laughs> hi it's now sunday i just got back from work i just took a shower as you can probably tell from my lovely towel head it's like six o'clock and i figured i would update you guys slash say goodbye to the vlog i finished a line in the dark i gave it a 2.5 i didn't really like the ending i kind of thought it was stupid there was like this weird shift from like first person in part one of the book to third person in the second part of the book and it just like didn't work for me first part of the book was like the backstory and then the second part of the book was like when the mystery happened but like mystery because like it wasn't really that much of a mystery it was just like obsessively stalking your best friend so was not a fan but i started replica Re -rep replica 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 it's upside down backwards whatever replica by lauren oliver it's about these two different girls one is a replica which is like a clone the other is the daughter of like the head of haven which is where these clones are made they end up meeting and it's Gemma discovering things that she didn't know about her dad lyra lyra whatever her name is is also discovering things about herself and it's like kind of interesting because you can read it like multiple different ways like you can read a chapter from Lyra's perspective a chapter from Gemma's perspective and like alternate them I didn't do that because I'm listening to it on audiobook so they read like all of Lyra's Lyra whatever her name is their chapters and then they read all of Gemma's chapters and it's kind of cool because like there's the same scenes from like different perspectives of the two girls which is interesting but I think I'm probably going to end up giving it like a three. I really did like Lyra's chapters, but Gemma is really annoying. She, her chapters are like super fat phobic and I'm just like not vibing with it. But yeah, so I'm like almost done. I think I have like 100 pages left of the book. 
and yeah but that's the update i need to go read and eat dinner and that means i'm closing the vlog for the week weekend it was like thursday to sunday so weekend vlog question mark i will see you all in next week's vlog if there is one because who knows with my filming and motivation there might not be but maybe there will be see you later goodbye yeah.